you're now in space, 220 miles directly above the planet. And that's how we get our name, Space 220, is the distance we are. Oh, okay. So we are at the Space 220 restaurant inside the iCup and oh my god I'm so excited we're going to get a reservation here so we're definitely going to show you around this beautiful restaurant and let you know if it's worth the money to come. Steve, Jen, Steve, you are. You can just follow that way. Alright, thank you. First time, we're so excited. So you saw the grozo with all the food right over there? Yes. That's our very own hydroponic section. It's how we grow all the food that you're going to see on plates today. Okay. Our wine cellars in this room, we store many different varieties in here. There's over 270 bottles just in this room. Wow. And finally, welcome to Centauri Space Station. You're now in space, 220 miles directly above the planet. And that's how we get our name, Space 220, is the distance we are. Oh, okay. We have you at lower level heating as well. Yay. So keep your eyes out the window. You're gonna see a lot of stuff. Step right here. Lower level is We're gonna have you right over here. Keep your eyes out the window. You're gonna see a lot from like spaceship okay. astronauts. We even have a space dog that sometimes comes out too. So you never know. Alright. Here we are. Anything that we have available for you today is amazing. It's a two course meal. Uh, for both of you to enjoy. Individually, you get to choose an appetizer as well as an entree. Uh, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to let me know. And for some uh, Earth's water, we do have more options available. If you prefer bottled water, we have aqua, aqua, uh, aquapana, and we also have uh, San Pellegrino, sparkling. Uh, Coke products in space, we have that available. However, you are in space, you can get that on Earth. Uh, we have better options. We do have some specialty drinks under zero proof cocktails that do not have alcohol, there's three of them. Or if you actually want to try a console here in space, we have nine brand new ones that we rolled out last week. 
Uh, so definitely I encourage you to take a look at that. Okay. okay. So look at the menu. Uh, in a few minutes I'll come back and I'll help you get started. Uh, okay, excellent. With your menu, okay? Thank you very much. My pleasure. Welcome to space. How we get a reservation is how uh, we the restaurant open at eleven thirty. The the cast member open up about ten o'clock. We were here at first on waiting and you have a couple options. You can do a standby for a reservation for lunch or dinner. She gave me a couple different times and we'll pick the lunch hour at eleven forty five. And if you want to save your money you can do the the bar lounge. But that we're gonna come back at eleven thirty after everyone check in and see this NBC open. We don't want to do that, so we went ahead just to get the lunch here. That's how we did it. So it's totally worth it. Do you want to share your thoughts so far? It's very, very cool. Very cool. And we're in space. We're they in keep space. yes, they keep telling us that we're in space. Yes. And uh, and he said that at night the Earth looks uh, dark, just like it would from space if the sun was on the opposite side. So it's pretty cool. I mean. It looks very good. So we'll see how the the food is. Yeah. Fifty nine dollar for appetizer. Fifty five. Fifty appetizer and entree. Entree. It's not too crazy. Not too bad. I mean, if if you think about it, we'll see how the food is. If the food looks really nice, then it's actually not bad at all. Yeah. We did not get any alcohol, uh, and the reason for that is that we're, we've just begun our journey here at Epcot, and everybody says that Epcot can be like, a, like basically a bar crawl. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can go from one place to the next and basically drink yourself uh, into oblivion. Uh, so we're we're gonna stay away from any alcohol uh, here today for lunch. The burrata, cheese, and uh, tomatoes and greens, gluten free. And then this is the calamari with spicy sauce. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is. I love the place hot. I mean, it's warm. Oh, wow, looks very nice. Take some photos. Just see, this is gonna pop. Parada cheese. Look kind of. Don't it's supposed to be kind of like the red bully. Good. Tastes fresh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Pretty good. It's not as good as marinara sauce. It's a good calamari. It's very. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring this in before we get everything going. Thank you. Gents, how are we doing? Everything looking amazing? Yeah, a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, of course, yes. I'm going to try this out. Uh, like a thousand island sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good calamari. So, Uncle Dong and I have been thinking about, is this a good space? I think we're sitting in a good space because if you're sitting right by the window, you either see the space pitch black or you see the earth. 
and then there are some reflections you can see it but when we sit back here we get to see the whole overview so I think it's better and also we feel like if you're gonna come here come to the first city so less people see right now there's people sitting in front of us now It's a really large portion too. Wow, it's like really good. Really? Wow. Okay, so you have the seared tuna. And what's it down there? Eggplant? I think like a, a sauce. It's very really good. It's not very seared, but it's good. Very Steven refreshing. always has bad things to say about food unless it's Chinese. Where's the hot pot? No American food is ever good. It's always good. No way the hot pot. But this is good. This is really good. Let's try it. Huh? Get a little bit of a little balsamic and vinegar on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. I love the eggplant down there. Try this steak now. I try. It tastes like a steakhouse steak. Good. What do you think about this restaurant? Do you recommend it? Actually, kind of I do. Big time recommend it. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it, it's $55 for lunch, but no drinks or anything. Mm -hmm. But it's very good food. Very yes. good. And all the atmosphere, it's it's good. It's yes. good. The, feet, the waiters are excellent. Um, yeah, we definitely recommend it. I will recommend that. If you don't have a reservation, come at 10 o'clock this way. You should come here and kind of, you got to kind of wait and hang out if you don't have a reservation. But It's uh, worth it. And thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell so you know the date and time we release the video. See you next time. Mooncast Multitasking Tintin Moisturizer by Ibu Beauty contains over 90% skin-loving ingredients, more skincare than makeup. Our hero ingredients are hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. Hyaluronic acid for hydration and brightening. Aloe vera to calm and soothe the skin. 
carefully designed it for anyone with concerns of uneven complexions and or dehydrated skin. Suitable for all ages, lifestyles, and skin types. For dry skin, use over a moisturizer. Give a bottle a shake before use. Dispense 2 to 3 pumps onto the palm. Massage hands together and apply to the face. Start from the center outward. Covering the face, forehead, and neck. 